champion. Um, so it would be huge for him, also huge in the standings. It would give him a chance to yeah. maybe start catching up. And, and the world champion, I have to just point out that the world champion has set trap. a sneaky, sneaky trap. Like It looks like Black can actually grab that pesky pawn sitting on the sixth row. But no, he can't. Ten seconds. Because ten seconds left. Okay, will David Navarro spot the trap? Of this, course he will. This would end in checkmate. Suddenly, after bishop takes rook, this is what we call a back rank checkmate. Look how Magnus planted the queen to stop the black mm. king escaping uh, using the square. So, of course, David Navarro spotted that. He's so tactically sharp. And instead of allowing any nasty checks later, he just brought his rook across. And now, suddenly, black is the one threatening checkmate. This is a checkmate threat to the white king. Uh, and Magnus spots it, <laughs> both sides spotting the traps. But are we about to see a result? Wow, yes, we do. Let's go back to the players. David Navarro smiling. We'll show this later, but he spotted a winning idea against the world champion. And look at that. <sighs> what a moment for him. Yep. That is a nice celebration <gasps> by Aww. David Navarro. Winning against the world, the champion Magnus, of course, logging off. But this is a big moment for David Navarro. See that big smile. Oh, how. Did you see earlier? He had a flower. Yep. Yellow flower. There, was a, there was a yellow flower and there was a huge smile on his face. Yep. Oh. oh yellow and blue. Yep. What a nice celebration by David Navarra. And I love seeing that uh, big smile on his face. Oh, can you imagine, David, what that means to him? Yeah. Uh, I can't. I mean, I can barely imagine. I mean, beating a world champion with the black pieces, one of the biggest tournaments of his career. Yeah, uh, I can't blame him for celebrating and being emotional. And uh, he's got to enjoy the moments, and rightly so. He played a great game there. Absolutely. And uh, we came in very late, but can we take a look at this game? What happened for Magnus to lose it? Yeah, I just want to show the final moments as well, because it, it actually ended really quickly. I was about to show a variation, but before I even had the chance, Navarro spotted a win and broke through uh, to deliver checkmate. And, Actually, we left it here. White's queen now in the middle of the board, just on a dark square, stopping any checks. Black wanted to use this square uh, to deliver checkmate, but that has been guarded. But the queen is overloaded. She has to cover too many squares. And here, David Navarra won by sacrificing. Remember, knights are great defenders. He got rid of this defender. And once after this sacrifice, uh, after this trade, the black queen simply dropped herself down, lined herself up with her bishop on this diagonal, and checkmate was inevitable. The threat is to drop the queen onto the h1 square, and there's simply no way to do this without throwing your rooks in the way and giving up your rooks. For example, if the pawn pushes forward, the queen steps forward. This is what we call the kiss of death, and this is checkmate. David Navarro finishing the game in style.